New details says a batch of mosquitoes in St. Joe County test positive for the West Nile virus. They're from an area north of Osceola. 16 News Now reporter Jack Springett is breaking down what this means and how you can avoid putting yourself at risk. The St. Joseph County Environmental Health Assistant Director Brett Davis says the mosquitoes they collected that tested positive for the West Nile virus came from a residential neighborhood. The type of mosquito carrying West Nile can thrive where people live. Even something as small as a crumpled up bag that is holding water in the backyard can breed these mosquitoes and breed them in abundance. Thousands of mosquitoes can breed in something as small as a crushed paper cup. Davis says draining old gutters, emptying water that's pooled in tires, flower pots or bird baths, and fixing broken septic systems are ways you can remove breeding grounds for the mosquitoes that carry West Nile virus. I think it would be reasonable for us to find it in other places in St. Joseph County. The presence of West Nile in that location does not at all isolate it to that area. Davis says people across the county should take precautions to avoid getting bit by mosquitoes. You can do this by wearing bug repellent with any of these ingredients. Also, do your best to avoid being out during dawn and dusk when these mosquitoes are most active. Wear your bug spray when you are going to be in those areas. That would be bug sprays that have an EPA approved active ingredient such as DEET, picaridin, IR3535, or oil lemon eucalyptus. Davis says the Environmental Health Department is planning on spraying the area where they found West Nile. You can learn more about when they spray by heading to the county's website. Reporting in Osceola, I'm Jack Springate, 16 News Now. And the CDC says West Nile is the leading mosquito-borne disease in the U.S. Cases can be fatal in roughly one out of every 150 people. And it looks